Good morning, Faith Fellowship. Hey, let's do some prayer this morning like we usually do. Bow your heads with me. Father, we thank you for this day. We ask you to continue to be a blessing in our lives. Help us to be obedient to our parents and all those you put in authority over us. And we just ask for peace and happiness during this Thanksgiving season. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Now for those pledges. Present arms, right hand over your heart. We'll begin with a pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now the pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path, and I will hide its words in my heart that I might not sin against God. Now the pledge to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands, one Savior crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty to all who believe. Quarter arms. Good morning, boys and girls. It's time for Word Wednesday. That's right, where you get another word from Mr. Dunn. Before I talked about what a word was, we said a word was a picture, but Jesus talked about word and he compared the word that he preached out of his mouth as a seed. And I'll talk about that in a little bit more, but before I talk about that, I want to tell you about a great little contest we had amongst the teachers. What we did was we had a small pumpkin, it was about this size, it wasn't really big, and I challenged the teachers to guess how many seeds might be in the pumpkin that was that size. And um, it was amazing how many seeds were in there. And so we had Miss Garcia cut up the pumpkin and it's quite a process because there's a lot of slimy stuff in the pumpkin and you have to dig it out. You have to separate the pumpkin seed from some of the pumpkin inside of the pumpkin. And then you have to wash the seeds. And then that laborious process of counting seed by seed. One, two, then up to 200 and then up to 300, and then up to more than 400. There was 501 seeds in that small little pumpkin. So that was amazing, and that took a lot of work. Thank you, Ms. Garcia, for doing all that counting. But at the beginning, I talked about a seed, and we saw some pumpkin seeds, and... It's amazing, inside that one seed is the genetic code, the information, the ability to produce itself over and over and over in a multiplied way. Inside that little seed is the information to be able to um, grow into a full plant with other pumpkins other fruit and have within it hundreds of other seeds. That's pretty amazing. That's multiplication. But Jesus talked about this concept of the seed and he said the word is a seed. So how is the word like a seed? Well the word goes out of our mouth like somebody that's getting ready to plant a seed. So the person speaking word is planting a seed and where does that seed, that word seed go? It goes into the ears and into a person's mind and heart. And it's a little tiny word of a thought. But the more you think about that thought, the more that thought grows. And the more that thought grows, the stronger it becomes. 
And the stronger it becomes, the more the desire is to do what that word says. And when you take an action, that means that the seed of that word has produced in you. And then when you plant the seed of an action, that seed brings back many, many more blessings and multiplies just like the seed and multiplies good things in your life. So when you see a seed again, don't just think about it as a seed that's making a plant. Think about how it relates to God's word and think about the seeds that you've been listening to. Jesus said, be careful about what goes in your mind because those are the things that are gonna produce a crop. So we want to be producing crops based upon God's word. We want a crop of goodness uh, based upon his good thoughts. And we want to be able to experience all the fruits of those good things planted in us. So think about those things for Word Wednesday. And I'll look forward to coming to you again the next time we get together. Have a great one. So the winner of our seed counting contest amongst the teachers here was Mr. Esposito. He did some really cool math formula and came very close to his guess. He guessed 490 seeds and there was actually 501 seeds. Can you figure out how close he was with that guess? I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to let you figure it out. But congratulations to Mr. Esposito's guess of 490.